hi guys in this video we will learn how to file upload with laravel live wire so in previous video we already see how to set up and all the things so you can see already set up over here and i simply log in as a hardik savani over here okay so now first of all what i will do simply go here and create one component so i will say php artisan mac live wire and i will say photo upload okay so it's created one class and blade file over here so let me go and show you as well you can see here live wire photo upload and if i go to the resources and blade file you can see that photo upload you can see here so first of all what i will do simply go here and i will say hi okay and simply go into the home blade file here i will say photo upload and here i will be call live wire component so i will say live wire and i will say photo upload okay and at the end tag okay simply save it and now let me run it again the project so i will say clear and php artisan serve okay now let me go here and refresh it you can see that hi so that means our component is run so what i will do next i will create one form so i will go and create one form over here so that's called form okay and here i will be take label and that's called image okay and here i will be do i will take one input and that's called file and name will be image okay simply save it okay i will take photo photo name okay and here i will be add one button okay so that's called submit save it and i will add bootstrap class over here so btn btn success simply save it okay and now let me go and refresh it you can see that there is a proper design so let me go and add some class over here bootstrap class so i will say form control and now let me go and refresh you can see proper design and also i will add mt3 save it yeah now perfect okay so now you can choose photo from here so i will say simply any one photo i can choose it you can see here so like this thumbnail okay and now what i will do i will simply go to the component class over here and i will create one public variable that's called photo okay and next what i will do simply bind that photo to the variable okay so in with the input okay so i will say wire model and that's called photo variable that we already created okay save it and into the form i will create i will bind like wire submit dot prevent and here i will be called submit that means when i click on submit button it's called submit method so now let me go here and create one method over here so yeah i will say submit method okay and first of all i will add the validation over here so that's called this validate and here i will pass the array argument with the file sorry what we have so photo photo should be required okay and should be image okay save it if everything fine then i will simply info this photo and simply save it what i am getting the photo okay save it and now refresh okay i also forgot to add display the error message so i will say error and here i will say photo and here i will be add p tag if there is error then there should be a message and i will simply say class text error okay and then at the end i will say end error that means error validation will display over here now refresh it and if i click on submit you can see that photo fields is required maybe yeah text should be danger class okay now refresh and click on it you can see that photo field is required now if i choose photo and i will choose any one photo over here yeah you can see that cannot handle file upload without with file upload straight so what we need to do simply copy this with file uploads and what i will do over here so if i go here i will say use live wire slash with file upload straight we need to use because we are using we are doing file upload thing so what we have to do use with file uploads okay 
now save it and now let me go and simply refresh it and choose again the image so i will go here and i will say thumbnail and select click on submit and now if i go to the storage and log at the end you can see this there is a temporary path over here okay so now what i will do i will simply go here and yeah here what i will do i will simply get the file path and yeah simply i will use this photo and there is simply store method okay store method and what is the folder name that we need to give so i will simply say like photos okay and save it okay and what is the file path that i am getting over here okay simply save it okay and now let me go and refresh and i will choose again the file okay so simply go here and simply submit it now if i go to the log you can see that properly file path and now if i go here into the app into the private by default is the private so you can see that here is the our photo over here okay so now what i will do simply go here and i will also add the preview okay so let me go and let me show you that one as well how to display the preview so i will go here and simply i will say if there is photo and i will say and if okay and here i will be showing the image preview over here okay sorry not image i will say image tag okay and then simply i will use photo variable over here so how can i do photo and i will use like temporary url okay so that means the preview also we can display here so i will say photo preview and save it okay and now let me go and refresh it and let me show you that preview as well so if i go here and if i choose this one and click yeah you can see that preview is very bigger so what i will do i will simply add width over here so that's say like 400 pixel only simply save it refresh it and i will go again and choose one image over here and simply you can see here and let me make it br as well so that way the proper design should be there save it okay and now refresh it again and i will simply say again choose the email okay and you can see that how easily we can display the preview as well okay so now what we will do the next what we uploaded file that also we can store into the database so i've already created one table over here so let me show you that that's called image table images table and there is also model i created so what i will do simply copy this and into the our live wire class i will use app models and i will say image okay and here i will do at the end image colon colon create first field is the title so what i will do simply title i will simply say test static title i will add right now and then i will say you can see here what is the next field is that file path so what i will do file path should be file path variable okay save it okay and here i will be say image and i will display the image object over here okay so let me clear this entire log file and now let me go and refresh it and i will choose again the file and simply go here and then i will simply submit it and if i go here you can see that title test and file path is created and first id so let me go here and refresh it you can see that first record is created so you can see how easily we can upload file without page refresh and using live wire so i hope guys you understand how easily we can do it if you like this video then please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much guys